This is Chaos Dragon. And Silver Mist Shadow. I didn't and start early this time. We, yeah. And um, we accidentally skipped a cutscene here because I forgot it was actually a cutscene, but well, it lasted about five seconds anyways. Yeah, we, we are recording it's... now just in case there is a pretty explosion because Cliff said something about blowing the place. Uh, yeah, he likes his... He likes explosives, doesn't he? Well, apparently we don't even get to see it. Everything's back. Just the after effects. You're Did wrong. the wall just it's move a little bit? Normal. Nicholas and Mina's parents are gone forever. It, it wobbled. Maybe. Is this place made out of, uh... uh it might be smoking still like that. Huh. I thought it was made of a. Uh, is that a treasure chest? Yes, I am going to walk around here until I figure out how to get in that freaking room. I want that treasure chest because it looks amazing. Oh! The eel has been destroyed. What that kind of crap is that? No! It looks like an amazing treasure chest! Dang it, why did he have to blow it up? Or maybe it was always like that and there's actually another entrance around here, I don't know. By the way, that was six over there. Six? Yeah, six was over there a few seconds ago. Oh, so it's two, five, six. Okay. Yeah. There's no way in there. So yeah, it might have been that uh, keyhole. Yep. Well, we can say goodbye to ever getting that until we make a run on normal. Then presumably, eventually, we might even make a video where we attempt to play this on the hardest difficulty, which is known as fourth dimension for reasons. He might make me play it. Yeah, I think you're gonna play it because I think you might do slightly better. And you would die about three less times than me. Why three less times? Because you die a lot in that? I don't know, I've actually never played it on that hard, but um... Normal was difficult enough for the fight with a guy who was riding on a, the back of a dragon. Oh, well, if I can beat Soul Calibur 3 or something like that on the hardest difficulty, I could more than likely do it. Possibly. Okay. Don't keep me waiting too long, kid. Got it. Yeah, Soul Calibur. Uh, at least once we get to the um, overpoweredness secret that will show you when we get to crafting, uh, it will make things. Easy on practically any difficulty as long as we don't no get hit. Just ah, so basically you're a glass cannon. I think so. Really? I don't understand the uh, idea of a glass cannon. It's because, to be honest, it... I think a cannon made out of glass might even destroy itself. But I think the MythBusters have actually yeah. tested a glass cannon. I'm not sure. No, it they haven't. Have just been the duct tape cannon or something. No, they have not tested a glass cannon. They tested a duct tape cannon. Okay. Time for me to... Because they know a glass cannon would just explode on itself unless it's made out of a specialized glass. That they probably didn't have back in the medieval ages anyways. Yep. It would explode in a catastrophic way that would look spectacular. Anyways, tender moment in here, I'm leaving. Did she get pregnant or something? What? Were you watching? 
I was. I, uh, I couldn't read it that fast. Ow. You oh. keep hitting X so fast. And I think my, that it's a fine reading rate. Anyways, we already have too many blueberries. Yeah. Well, I I read a weird way if people want to know. We have some ring mail to equip. What? Whoa, 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 anyways, go, go. if you look what? at this thing, um, this is an item that is always rising throughout the game. It is based on how much time you have played the game, and as far as I know, by the time you can actually afford to buy even a single bit of it, it's not gonna really matter because you won't be playing the game for that much longer anyways. What, what does it do? It's basically something that you buy so that you can sell it five hours later at a much higher price. Ah. But we have taken so much time just to get here that um, its value has gone up really, really high. Yeah, sooner later you might uh, have that thing where you can make an unlimited amount of cash. Mm, well, a lot of it. We're gonna get to that grinding spot later. Yeah, because that'd be entertaining. Grab that thing early on, sell it later. Yeah, but you would have to grab it in, like, an unbelievable amount of time. You would have to get here in, like, maybe 30 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> you would have to skip everything and do as much as possible to make the battles last about two seconds each. Okay. That would be amazing to do. But... Maybe somebody disagrees with me and somebody will eventually upload a video if we ever have more than two viewers. Or more. We actually have more than two viewers. Okay, so that's your mom, your sister, and who? I don't have a sister. Oh, whatever. She looked like a sister to me. Who? Oh, I'm just playing with you. You have a sister. I don't have a sister. I have two of them. <laughs> anyway. Where the heck was I going again? Uh, you're lost already. You're going to space. Ah, uh, right, yeah, but where do I go get picked up? I forget uh, where the UFO? event flag was. UFO? I need to find the freaking event flag for getting picked up by the UFO thing or whatever the heck it is. No, and UFO is an undeathified flying object. Yes, but the moment you ident identify it as a UFO, it's already identified, so isn't that a paradox? Yes, yeah, 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 it's an IFO. Identified flying object. You haven't identified exactly what it is, but you do know that you have identified it as not something that you know. Yes. So it's a IFO UFO. No, it's a UFO IFO. Yes, an unidentified flying object that's been identified as a flying object. I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to make some sort of logic there. Wow, that's a long chasm. Chasm? Yeah. Chasm? I've been having this kind of dispute. Is it chasm or chasm? Oh, finally we pass over the event flag on the freaking 75th pixel out of place where I walked over five dozen times. Yeah, you had to walk a little bit slower in that area. said it's okay. I haven't done anything. Yeah, I know. Now hurry up and get us out of here. My ship will be here soon. Once we're ready, it's good riddance to this hunk of rock. Uh, I image him speaking like some sort of famous space captain for some weird reason. Hey, Cliff? Well, maybe eventually we'll have a solution that allows us to record, stream, and you actually hear 
what is going on without me needing to pre-record and send you the thing instead of doing yeah. it live. There's something I've been meaning to add. What's that? People, if you have something, tell us about it in the comments. If there are any of you there who watched this for more than, I believe the average was three seconds, you literally pop in and then you say, eh, and leave. Wait, somebody actually did that? Oh, several people, according to my average for some of the Assassin's Creed videos. It actually what? went down when we went to the new format. Down to this format? To the 30-minute um, format, yeah. More people watched for longer on the hour-long format for some weird reason that I can't even identify. Although that was when I last no, looked, not. which was a few weeks ago at the most, at the least. <gasps> this is, that's just sad. Nice try, but that's avoiding the question. Maybe we need to have some big entertaining joke Probably at the beginning of every video. And that something yeah. Or hold open and then introduce ourselves like three minutes in. Eh, yeah. Other than having, other than building up to a joke like, um, whiz bang wuzzle? No, no, that, that's something else. What the heck was I saying there? We've been abducted by, by aliens. Illegal, by illegal aliens. I doubt they even got permission from their own government. Well, they work for Quark, so no. Random cutscene that we couldn't have possibly seen the events of because we're not there anymore. We have telekinetic powers, we can tell. Um, no, it's not telekinesis, it's more like, um, I think the word is clairvoyance or clairaudience, I forget which, but, um... Clairvoyance. What, what's clairaudience? Oh, yeah, that's the one where you can hear somewhere else, I think, maybe, I don't know. No, clairvoyance is the, uh, sight beyond sight. Anyways, they're... these guys spot our spaceship, sort of. I think it's just a big light in the sky at this point. But they sort of see it. I see a metal flying bird. Yeah. It took our friend! Well, let's get a move on. She'll be expecting us. The rendezvous point is Beta 747372- Mirage? Got that? Yes, that's her name. Roger. Her last name is Kos. Mirage Coast? At least I think that's how you pronounce it. You should hear all this beeping. That computer really goes beepity beep 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 while she's typing. <laughs> beepity beep 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 boop boop boop. It's more like beep 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 beep. Because I guess she presses the enter key at some point. Oh yeah, so it's the enter key boop. This is my navigator and partner in crime. I leave the day-to-day -day operation of the ship to her. Day-to-day -day oh, operation. Our target. Yes, I knew right away. So she's our pilot. Sort of. There her name is. Nice Mirage Kosa. Koas. She pronounces it Kos. Kos. Mirage Kos. I think that was the past we were remembering back there for a second. Oh, and listen, don't fall for her. She may look pretty, but she's a clausy. Any funny ideas, and you're liable to meet a swift yet painful death. Oh, by the way, Clausians come from a higher gravity world than Earth, so they can back that statement up. Hey, wait a sec. <laughs> Relax, I was just They're super I fast. Believe, I believe if this guy gives you as much as a hard slap, and you're an earthling, you might break a few jawbones. So he's Superman. A generic superhero guy. Mm, sort of, but not quite that strong. He's not completely invincible, which is why he has a health bar. Uh. I like that. Generic super guy. 
generic oh, brawling oh, guy looks like you can forget that with an attitude. What is it? Yeah, because he, 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 they say he uh, masters other forms of combat, but all you see him do is left hook, right hook, punch, jab, jab, jab. I guess. And you never seen kick. Two Vendini battleships detected 400,000 kilometers ahead. An ambush, huh? Man, it's bad enough having to sad. Work federation. <laughs> Open up a comm link. Hold on. I'm using the fly. Connection confirmed. Uh, <coughs> this is the Eagle, a Clausian ship. We don't want any trouble with you. <coughs> You're wasting your time. The enemy Sorry about that, people. I'm attack. coughing. Seems they know I am slowly on. dying. <laughs> It'll be tough without using gravitic warp, but we've got no choice. Reverse course. Conventional engines, full power. Roger. Full power to rear shields. And let me see a chart for... Close the blast shield. All right. Course 116, mark 267. Activate auto evasion program. Fast and cruise... That's what we need to do. We need to find a two-player game. Course entry complete. Speed... Maximum. Maybe. Yeah. We've tried that before, I think. Hey. Oh, I never recorded it, except Maybe. in Minecraft. We've evaded round one that we never put up. Camp. Yeah. If you want to see us do Minecraft, do a post. We will attempt to do Minecraft. If you make your own mod pack, we'll definitely do that. Possibly, if we like it. Nah, no, I'll I'll do it and I'll record it myself. Maybe. Not him. I got a hunch it'll function the moment we reach the objective point. Yes. I'm bored. Line between the ships and that planet. Then pop us up star side. We'll open up the very well. But we won't be able to designate our warp destination. Well, we're toast if we stay here, Mirage. Anyhow, space is big, right? Our odds ain't that bad. You got a Space hunch. is big. <laughs> Four rounds now approaching. Now's the time to pray, gentlemen. Unfortunately, it looks like we might lose the race. Here comes the first round now, and we're seven seconds from objective point. Uh, who cares if we take a few rounds? Warp our butts out of here. <laughs> damage, but still functioning. You bet it is. Well, we're gonna crash again. Uh, and knowing our luck. Hey, that bullet's still following us. We've thrown off the Vendini ships. Whew. That was close. Yes, but now we're pretty far from the rendezvous point. Well, it can't be helped. Besides, it won't hurt to make her wait a little longer. Let's Make her wait a little bit longer. <laughs> wow, your hunch really paid off. Finally, some respect. Yeah, a healthy respect for your recklessness. What is that supposed to mean? A little more honesty would be nice. Like, <laughs> hey, that cliff sure is something. Or, you're a genius, Cliff. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt while you're having so much fun. What is it, Mirage? The gravitic warp core is overheating. Respect the blonde guy. Immediately. The engine will scram if we don't. What? Didn't I specifically request that you tell me these things sooner? Get back to conventional space, pronto. Roger. Bad news. Now what? The About to crash. I'd say we have a problem. Everything's broken. That propels us. Where are we now? 
Oh, I'm hearing all the beeping. Boop, boop, boop. If all our energy sources are shot, then we can't communicate either. Maybe if it's quiet enough, you can actually hear things. A little bit. I don't hear their voices ever. Yeah. Well, Mirage, come up with something. Do they speak like uh, text or what? Um, they say exactly what's in the text. Just a moment. I think you can hear it. How about now? I'll see what I can do. What can we do? Aren't all the engines scrammed? For starters, we gotta land before we crash. Then, we wait to be rescued. Nope, can't hear anything. Yeah, well that was my microphone deciding to mute when I wanted the volume controls. How about now? Great plan. Look, my mission is to bring you to our leader. Until then, I'll watch out for you. Trust me. You're as safe nope, as, I hear nothing. as a turtle in its shell. Yeah, oh, okay. So I a turtle guess dropping out of orbit. Joke. What, all the beeping? I'm hearing all the beeping. Oh. I'm not hearing all the uh, voice acting. Yeah, well, I huh? guess those are still say quiet, something? Then. Nothing. So we'll they're actually saying something. In oh, yeah, there's voice acting. Get ready for a bumpy ride, you two. And keep wagging those tongues. Yeah, we're broadcasting this to me to through Skype so we can do this live. Yes, Roger. Yeah. I wish we had more viewers to be entertaining. Uh, I'd more than likely be more entertaining. Yes, if we actually thought that maybe we were getting watched by more what than three. What is that people. thing? I think it's six now. Oh, yeah. It's or nine. Something like that, I guess. Well, at least we're better to our viewers and other people. Fallen from the sky? Nonsense. It looks nothing like a falling star. Well, what is it? How am I supposed to know? Oh yeah, and people, we're Just going to be starting luck. our own other right in the middle series of, a city. of this thing. Not to mention we're out of power. Oh. And the helm is out of Starting another series of something, aren't we? Be alive. <sighs> I guess this is no time to be worrying about the UP3. What do we do now? Oh, we're on another, um, planet that's yeah. low, underdeveloped. And we just crashed into their... City. Not even that, their capital. So, it's like that, um, Roswell uh, thing again? Of one of the, of the civilizations here. Seventeenth century technology of Earth. So, close to 1600s. Ah. But, it's... um, the other civilization is higher, as we find out later. What civilization we came from? No, um, we have to, um... <sighs> Hang on. The civilization we're going to go find later is a higher level. Ah, That's all. okay. It's not... It's still not developed as far as warp drive and space travel goes, but, um, it has better stuff. Ah. Just less people. It looks like Russia. This part is kind of militaristic anyways. And we have to talk to all both of them a few times before more stuff happens. You there! Yeah. Also, the it kind of reminds me of, um, the Roswell thing, except in military times. What's this? Medieval times. Medieval times. Medieval times. What am I thinking right now?
It's a giant. It breathes fire and flies. We seem to be surrounded by a group of local soldiers now. What will you do? Shoot them with lasers. Not much we can do with the eagle scrap like this. Fighting our way out isn't really an option. Well, at least we're still in one piece. For now, maybe. Oh, well, let's just step outside and see what happens. Hold on just a second. Even minimal contact with the inhabitants of an underdeveloped planet will get us in trouble. Besides, we have no idea what they'll do to us once we're out there. You got any better ideas? I hate to point this out, but I think we've already made contact. Rather now I'm seeing his forehead. Anyway. I'm seeing his forehead specifically. I don't know why it zoomed over well, there. Well, still. It just tends to do stuff like that for some stupid reason. It, it likes oh, his worry. forehead. I've got a hunch they won't kill us <laughs> right away. Another hunch? Come on, trust me. Didn't we make it here safely? I tell you. Well, at least you didn't do it right. in the other thing where uh, oh, um, zoomed in on the uh, girls. Oh, uh, but that would. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> One time. Specifically. <laughs> at any rate, I don't. Th what do you think they'll do? <laughs> well, we'll probably be taken prisoner. Metal Gear Solid you reference like there, people. Care. Remember that? Yeah, but only you. Huh? Elgar saw what about three specifically. We'll have Mirage wait until later to make an escape. Mirage, stay until nightfall, then leave under the cover of darkness. Right. That shouldn't be a problem. But Mirage, all alone? <laughs> You're forgetting. She's a clausy. She'll be fine. I pity the soldier that tries to take her. Yeah, they'll they'll more than likely like get broken by her. <laughs> nah, no need. We'll think of something. You scout around and find a way to contact the diplomat. Don't put yourself in danger trying to hook up with us. They should be able to home in on our position as long as we make contact. They can come get us then. Roger. All right, time to go. So basically, um, he can slap them and they will break into a million Thanks. pieces you too, and things <laughs> like that. I said it'll be okay. Okay. So they're on a planet with one point G. No, it's point, point nine. Point nine. Here. What's Earth's gravitational pull again? I forgot that. One. Ah. Exactly one. Hey! There's so we all what? based it around the uh, gravitational pull of one of Earth's gravity. Yeah, pretty much. Ah. There's people so in there. So he's slightly stronger than them. Uh, we get them. Both of them are, yeah. But they're giving up Wait. right now. Give it up, kid. Nothing we can do. Give up. Look behind you. Well, what was it? We believe it to be a new Aquarian weapon, Your Majesty. We have the two crew members locked up in the dungeon. Very well. Continue with your investigation and step up the pace of the invasion of Arius. If the enemy has indeed brought a new weapon into active service, then time is of the essence. Your Majesty. It's a new weapon well, of you, other Altar. place. If this object that has fallen on our city is truly a new Aquarian weapon, then we are in trouble. Aquaria has shown an admirable ability to wage war of late. Lord Waltar appears to lack confidence. Harry Glyph has your Storm Brigade cavalry, Albel's Black Brigade heavy cavalry, and my Winged Dragon <laughs> my Brigade. Winged dragon the brigade. They stand they no dragons? chance against our yes. region, sire. Their I want a dragon to use uh, to as a Anything they car or something. That'd be cool. Fly, fly to Maybe. wherever on the dragon. Pride comes before Feeding it would be a pain, though. Sure. Right, Albel? <laughs> if they're the enemy, we kill them. If they aren't, we dispose of them. If Need a bunch of cows. Regardless, we have yet to see any evidence the object is a new aquarium. My men have already begun to interrogate the crew members. They'll talk before long. 
The Inquisitor. He only seems to enjoy. He is the best. As long as they do not die before they talk, we are not barbarians. You speak. Oh, they have a uh, prisoner right thing. Have no, no, not really. Rights. Ah. We'll hurt them and we'll if hurt they them die they as a result. And so be it. Compared to you, that may be true. I'm with What's the big deal? Just find out whether they're enemies or not. We know what Just we have to do. Figure they're enemies or not. <laughs> Don't. If we do kill them, we'll make sure they cough. But I certainly hope so. That will be quite enough. Now is. Indeed, it is not. Vox, continue your interrogation. Waltar and Albel. Yes, yes sire. sire. Why don't you just spit That's it That's a out? weird mask for a um, interrogator. <laughs> that thing you were riding, what was that? A Aquaria? Answer the question! <clears throat> I told you. Yeah, you <clears throat> don't! Yeah. <laughs> mm? Damn! Fatal. It was just getting fun. See you again soon, my okay. <laughs> You. We haven't yes, lost sir. our shirt yet. We still He's have the only guy who loses his shirt, the interrogator. Huh. Ah, yeah. We still have the shirt with the um <laughs> signature on the back. We get some better stuff in a bit. Ah, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> that we still Yo, have that. you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Ah. Uh. You don't look fine. Look who's talking. Well, yeah, but I'm more used to torture than you are. <laughs> because you're a member of an anti-federation organization. You could say I've been around. Hey, you held up pretty well, though. What could I do? It's not like they'd believe me if I told them I came from outer space. Good point. Why'd you let them catch you anyway? I mean, you could have gotten away, right? Huh? Nah, it would have been too much of a hassle. A hassle? Yeah, a pain in the butt. I couldn't just leave you there anyway. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on firsthand. <laughs> so, you find anything out? As a matter of yeah, fact, I could I break did. out any time I want, what? but it's too much for the, the whips pain. on this planet hurt too. Very funny. Say, do you know what Aquaria is? Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning it. He kept referring to the eagle as a new Aquarian weapon. Huh. Must be the name of their enemy. So what? They think we're spies? I'm thinking you got that right. And... These restraints are pretty solid. Damn! Oh, no. They're too tight! <laughs> he didn't I can't break move out. at all! <laughs> um, that's why they call them restraints? Don't bother me with semantics, kid. How are we going to get out of these? Do you think Mirage got away okay? Ah, she'll be fine. Like I told you, she's a Clausian. <laughs> Bet she snuck off into town a long time ago. I hope you're right. Ugh. How am I supposed to rescue my dad trapped like this? Hey, cheer up. Somebody will show up to spring hmm. us out of this place soon. So, how are they but going to get so out of this be. mess? You told Mirage she shouldn't bother coming in after us. And it's not like we know anybody else. They're here already. What? Who? Huh? Oh. There. <laughs> your foe? I don't know, but there's somebody here. Hey. You have two options. Accept my conditions and live. Or refuse and die here. It's your choice. Huh? What kind of options are those? The correct choice should be obvious. 
So what are your conditions? I want your help, that's all. Our help? That's right. You two were riding that lump of metal that fell in the town, correct? We want your technology. Our technology? Why not? Why not? I can't tell her about the U- And what would you do with our technology if we gave it to you? We'd use it to end the war that rages between this country and my- Hold on a minute. Your country? No, I'm not from Aeroglyph. I'm from Aquaria. Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning that. Makes sense now. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of I wouldn't think you'd have any particular Russia for some weird reason. Why not help me? Good point. Or another we'll cold country. What are you saying? Give us a moment, all right? Shut your trap, kid. But she wants our technology. What were you planning on teaching them? Come on, you saw this civilization's level of technology? Look, all they need is a little college physics. And I don't know about you, kid, but I was paying attention in class. You're right about that. But what about the UP3? Man, what a square. And again, maybe that's your redeeming feature, huh? Straight as an arrow, just like... Just like who? Huh? Did I say something? I'm minding. Jeez, forget about it. Listen, <laughs> based on what she said, we must be in Ericlyph right now. And this place is at war. Yeah. Good. Okay. Both sides think we have some kind of unknown technology. Oh, well, that makes sense. The big flying metal thing did land in the middle. Even if we don't cooperate with her, Ericlyph will want our... Yeah, but... So what I'm saying is, if we're gonna cooperate with someone, it might as well be that hot chick over there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't believe this. Cooperate with the hot chick. Well, okay, let's say that was a joke. Either way, we can do whatever we want once we're out of this place. We'll just wait for our chance and make a run for it. We're not doing much better here in prison with our hands all in shackles. And if we die here, who's gonna rescue your dad? Wow, well, you're not talking you much. Yeah, I'm kind of just oh, watching the cutscene because I haven't seen it in a while. Huh. a boy. <sighs> All right, we've discussed it. We'll help you. Then we have Besides, a it's an RPG. I like to Step be back quiet the during bars. the cutscenes usually. Because they it's... can be important. Magic! <laughs> What did she just do? You're free. She Thanks for getting us out of there. The door now, open. Uh, can you use that little trick of yours to get these off us too? Don't move. Thank you very much. She magic yeah, dust thanks. free. No, did you see her draw her knife? Oh. No thanks needed. I'm, but I'm going well, to hold they didn't part show of the it. Bargain. They've sort of implied it. Uh. Huh? You said you'd cooperate with us. Don't think you can just wait for your chance to run either, because I won't let you. If you try, I'll kill you. Even though he could uh, yeah. just slap you and she hurt us. break practically every bone in your thank body. Thank you for calling me hot, though chick I can live without. Scary. I'm Nell Zelfer, agent for the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. My name's Fate Line God, and this is... Cliff Fitter. Fate and Cliff. My pleasure. So, where are you from? <laughs> and he calls himself... And what is the metal thing you Line God. What do we tell her? Just what is Fate's lead. last uh, name? Yeah. Sh that Therefore, is his last name. Really? Yes. So he has an overpowered so last really name. Right, yes. Some solid <laughs> I already mentioned this. From the east. In the last video. One of the countries oh, I thought that was a... Uh, oh wait, his dad's a doctor? What you call it yeah. Here? yeah. Uh. What are engineers from Greeton doing in Aeroglyph? Well, the long story would take all day. So, I'll give you the short version. Fate's dad got uh, captured by an enemy country. 
We were on our way to rescue him in this newly developed, uh, vehicle, but it broke down on the way. Then, we ended up here. I see. Wow, he sure is a smooth talker. And not all of it is lies, either. So you are from Greeton. I thought as much. How so? There is no country on this continent with that level of technology. It was an easy conclusion. <laughs> it's well, from another country. More or less. What I am sure of is there's no way we can let Aeriglyph have you. You must cooperate with us. You know what, yeah, this video is running way over. We're just gonna end it in the middle of this cutscene here. Okay. This has been Chaos Dragon and... And Silver Machado, and next time we are going to beat up the torturer because we feel like it. Yep. Goodbye. Indeed.